to me, but I must say that when he ran night nurse last time at Kempton against Bregorn for the second time, giving him a pound more than he tried to at Haydock, and back at Kempton, a course where he's never had a happy time, in fact, where he's had two of his few falls and unhappy experiences in his life, it did seem to me at least an eccentric choice. By the look of it, night nurse thought so too, because he never really looked happy in the race. He was never jumping with the zest and enthusiasm which he showed that glorious day at Cheltenham when uh, he beat uh, such good horses and beat them so brilliantly. That was his best and chief victory this season and it was his happiest moment and I'm hoping that we're going to see it repeated here today. On the left there, the, the engineer, the outsider of the party. I suppose this is one of those races you might do the, to the bookies straight forecast or whatever they did in that race of little owls. But I imagine that the bookies won't be fool enough to allow the engineer to start at a very long price. So let's have a look at uh, the Gold Cup winner, Midnight Court. There he is. He looks marvelously well. He's been hunted this season with the beaver. And Oliver Sherwood, who rides him today, because of course John Frankham's at Kemp Kempton, Oliver tells me that he was seriously hunted. That's to say, he did really uh, pursue the hounds. Uh, before I go on about Midnight Court, a quick look at the betting. Night Nurse, the 9 to 4 on favourite, Midnight Court 2 to 1, and the Engineer 16 to 1, all three show. Well, I very much hope that this will be a nice, easy, happy win for Night Nurse. But Fred Winter, of course, hopes that Midnight Court will prove he's sufficiently far back to his old self to deserve a place in the Gold Cup field. The engineer is taking them along. Over to you, John Penny. And they have a journey of just over three miles, 19 fence. And as you quite rightly observed, John, the engineer is the leader from Night Nurse in second place and Midnight Court in third. And they near the first of the 19, a plain fence. And it's the engineer who will lead them over it from Night Nurse who jumped up well and now taken the lead. So Night Nurse now the leader from the engineer and Midnight Court. And now facing up towards an open ditch. Night Nurse in the lead from the engineer and Midnight Court. All safely over that, John Joe O'Neill with Night Nurse in the lead being followed by Gordon Holmes on the engineer. Oliver Sherwood then br just brings up the rear with Midnight Court as they come towards fence number three. And the engineer just fractionally the back marker as Night Nurse continues to lead from Midnight Court and the Engineer. And so they're swinging now into the straight on towards fence number four. They have four plain fences up the straight. The white cap and breastplate of Night Nurse in the centre. The Engineer towards the right and Midnight Court just on the left. And so they come into this plain fence. All jumping well. And of course Night Nurse has now won 30 races worth just about £126,000 hopefully on his way to another success but they have quite a long way to go yet and Midnight Court the former Gold Cup winner on the near side obviously is not going to let him have things his own way and so Night Nurse in the lead as they go now towards fence number six from the engineer trained in Scotland on the far side once again the fractional leader and then comes Midnight Court and Night Nurse really loving it and uh, jumping well with plenty of zest as they come in towards fence number seven which will be the 19th and final fence next time round. And so as they shape up towards it, it's Night Nurse, the leader. And Midnight Court just in behind Night Nurse with the engineer on the far side. Well, John, you didn't have an awful lot of time to talk about Night Nurse. I know you have lots of good things to say about him, so we'll rejoin you. Well, the happiest thing, John, is I'm touching my wooden table, but uh, uh, the happiest thing is that he looks as if he's really enjoying himself. And I bet you John Joe O'Neill is too, because he told me that the old horse was never really happy at Kempton. He's always hated the place, and he felt that way to John Joe. But today, I'm sure John Joe is getting exactly the opposite feeling. So far, Night Nurse hasn't met a fence wrong. He's either stood back, as he did then at the water, or fiddled very, very neatly indeed. Mind you, Midnight Court's been jumping well, so for that matter, the engineer so far. But Night Nurse, of course, doesn't mind. Oh, he got a little bit close there, but see the cleverness of him. He didn't hit the fence at all, uh, didn't lose any ground, and hardly any impetus. Nevertheless, Midnight Court is going well enough on the rails 
uh, to maybe give him a race. Who knows? At this moment, I would still be perfectly happy about Night Nurse, and I reckon that John Joe O'Neill is, but uh, Oliver Sherwood getting just a little bit close to that fence on Midnight Court. Night Nurse jumped that the better, but uh, between these two great horses, uh, you can certainly call Midnight Court a great horse. After all, he won the Gold Cup as a seven-year-old. Things have gone wrong since then. Night Nurse jumped that one really beautifully. You saw John Joe see the long stride and go for it. So between these two, maybe it'll be a question as to who can jump best from here, because Night Nurse certainly isn't having it all his own way. Back to you, John. Well, these two good jumpers really pinging their fence as they make their way around the far side just over a mile to go and on towards fence number 13 with uh, Midnight Court, the fractional leader here from Night Nurse, the engineer about five lengths off the leading pair. And so as they come towards this next plane fence, they both approach it together, both come out of it virtually together, and then comes the engineer. So next is an open ditch, and both still going well within themselves, a good, sensible pace. Night Nurse on the far side of Midnight Court. And uh, Night Nurse, once again, the better jump there, comes out of about three parts of length from Midnight Court. And so they have one more fence on the turn before they come back into the straight, and the engineer is still in the picture, but about six lengths off the leaders. And once again, Night Nurse, a better jump there from Midnight Court and the Engineer. And so they've got about five furlongs still to run as they start to turn into the straight and on towards fence number 16. Night Nurse on the left, Midnight Court on the right. That's the leading two. And of course, both destined to have a go at the Cheltenham Gold Cup again. And so let's see how they fare over the closing four fences. And once again, Night Nurse is the superior there, but uh, only just a little bit over Night Nurse, who now comes under pressure from Oliver Sherwood as they come now in towards the third from home. Three plane fences ahead of them. Night Nurse is the leader from uh, Midnight Court. And John Joe just looks back there at Oliver and more or less says, well, come on, I'm going to make the best of my way home. And he's coming now towards the second last and now going clear of Midnight Court. And the engineer still back in third place. And what a jump there from Night Nurse. He really leapt at that and ate it up. And he's now gone about five, six lengths clear. And so with one fence to go in the Pennine Chance, is now Night Nurse well clear, motoring along quite sweetly in the lead. Let's see how he takes his final fence. Oh, he really sprawled at that one, but got away with it safely from Midnight Court in second place. The engineer over in third as they come up towards the line. Night Nurse, a real hollow victory here. And he's really pulverized. Midnight Court and the engineer who will finish third but at the line Night Nurse a very easy winner from Midnight Court in second place and the engineer over in third and already the William Hill organization have quoted Night Nurse five to two favorite from three to one and so confirmation of the result first number three Night Nurse owned by Mr. Red Spencer trained by Peter Eastby and ridden by John Joe Neal second Midnight Court owned by Mrs. Olive Jackson trained by Fred Winter written by Mr. Oliver Sherwood, and third home, number six, the engineer, owned and trained by Lord Kilmaney, and written by Gordon Holmes. Well, what can one really say about Night Nurse? Now his winnings now go on and way over the 128,000 pounds he's won in his life, because he's won 30 jump races and also three flat. He's including the champion hurdle of 1976 and 1977. Then he was third the following year, and last season he was runner-up to Little Owl in the Cheltenham Gold Cup. He's in good form this season, as we've clearly seen today, this being his third victory of the present campaign. His other two have been at Worcester and Newbury. As we already know, he was the current Andy Post favourite for the Cheltenham Gold Cup, and on that running today, surely this fellow must take a hell of a lot of beating. John Joe really pleased with the performance of his old partner, now 11-year-old, as he comes back to collect this prize, which is worth just under £3,000 for the winning owner, Mr. Red Spencer, whose colours, of course, his horse has carried all the time since he saw a race course for the first time. A real legend in his own is Night Nurse, trained by Peter Easterby, of course, really disappointed that Little Earl is now out of action. And incidentally, Night Nurse is uh, just one of the team that hasn't been bedeviled by the virus, which seems to have struck east of his string at this present time of the year. And a nice warm ovation here from this Yorkshire crowd. They like a good horse. They've got a good horse here. And of course, trained in Yorkshire, a marvelous combination. And Red Spencer there on the far side, the owner. 12 lengths was the official verdict and two and a half lengths between second and third.